Hello, people. Welcome to another episode of Iron Fist Mining. Now, I know I said uh, I was going to film an episode up when I went to go visit my dad up in Northern California. I do have some footage of that, but what I discovered is uh, that that whole place used to be an ancient, ancient lake bed. This goes way, way back. And uh, to actually hit bedrock... Or something close to the water table there you have to go down 200 freaking feet I did do a little panning a little digging around a little searching but uh, for the most part you have 200 feet overburden and what I can show you is in this uh, picture here you're gonna see this uh, the this rim rock and then underneath it is this light sandy material well the light sandy material extends down 200 feet the rest of it's volcanic stuff that was thrown out of a <clears throat> a huge volcano and I'm thinking it was crater lake out of Klamath Falls and that type of uh, strata or earthen material goes all the way down to Reno so this was a huge lake now there was one time when I was trying to search out all of these uh, old maps of California. And I found one that was about as old as the inception of America itself, before all the states began. Some dude walked across, and it wasn't Pocahontas and all that stuff, with, with a group of Indians, and uh, made it to the West Coast, which is where I'm at. But... In the spot where my dad lives in junk, there is a, there used to be, he drew this picture of this huge lake, and it was bigger than the San Francisco Bay. Um, if you don't know how big the San Francisco Bay is, just look at a map of California, it's that big chunk right at the bay of San Francisco, where the Golden Gate and all those other big bridges are. It was bigger than that lake, so it was a huge lake. Anyway. I'm going to be down uh, here digging today, and I'm going to go through some spot panning and junk, and maybe I'll find something. I don't know. I'll give you, I'll show you what I'm doing, how I do it, and blah, 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 blah. All right, before I get it all set up, um, I'm going to do some spot panning, but before I do that, I'll show you some of the footage I got when I stopped at a waterway before I got to my hometown of Alturas, California. So why don't you check that out? When we come back, I'll show you how to spot pan. I'm in the area. This is uh, the South Fork Pit River down Jess Valley Road. And I thought for sure I'd find some gold here with all this exposed bedrock. In fact, you can see some more of it behind me. Um, primarily what it is is this volcanic rock, man. I thought for sure I would find some gold sitting around in here but all I'm finding is black sand and a lot of granite more volcanic rock oh they're sparkly in there but they're all rather light and there is like zero quartz here I have yet to see a piece of quartz kind of expecting to see a rattlesnake any second you gotta really watch where I'm walking this is really remote out here. I'm like the only dude out here. I can see why nobody's mining this. There's like some cougar crap and some cinder. No gold. This is stuck in the valley, so you figure if it was in there, that water is just running way too deep, so I can't get out there to go check that. I'm a virgin to this kind of ground, man. I have real no idea what I'm looking at here. So it's going to take me some time. Ugh, I'm winded to find the shiny because oh, there's a big nail or something. It's a good sign. It's washing up here. Uh, this is like 5,000 feet in elevation, man. I'm used to like below sea level, so it's kind of choking me out. Whew. So I'm going to chill here for a minute, let my car cool down, and then I'll show you my hometown. Man, I think I'm going to pull in there and get something to eat before I go up to Granny's or maybe go see my dad. I haven't decided yet. Oh, it's a great spot to shoot my gun off, though. Might just fire at some rimrock, see if I could start an avalanche. <laughs> That'd be fun. Anyway, 
I'm not going to waste too much more time panning here. I dug in some of this high bank stuff. Whoa! And didn't really find anything. I was expecting with all this volcanic rock to find at least some crystals or something. But I didn't even... haven't found that. The bugs are biting me and stuff. So, we'll see what happens. Me to you. Way the hell out here in Northern California, man. Woo! What a ride. Four hours and nothing but sagebrush and one radio station. Alright. So you saw the area that I was at. You know, now it's time to show you some spot panning. And what I'm going to do is just dip in to an area that I was looking and I'm not going to even try to like when I'm done doing a clean out I'm going all nice and slow trying to save it I'm just going to do it quick and dirty Let's see if there's anything Right in that specific area. Ooh, there's a nice piece right there. Can you see it? That was right on the freaking surface, man. Now there's about five. There's that big one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six pieces there. I need to put that in the bucket. Dump that in there. We'll go get some more. So, that spot's obviously decent, right on the top. I got a hole in my bucket, I'm gonna watch right through it. But I'll just go through and check different spots to see if maybe the gold's better in one spot than the other. That one was obviously a good one. Pulling out a few pieces. There's that crusty there. Come on, on baby! This is so not good for you to do that. Like I said, I'm just doing it sloppy. And this is to let you know where if, where or if you have gold. Otherwise, you might just be wasting your time, which I've done a million times, and I'm kind of sick of doing that. So Now, before I dig, this is what I do. And I got two pieces, three pieces baby baby pieces so there's some there there's some down there and by doing this you can also kind of map the area where the gold's at make sure there's no more gold in there I want to get a full sleeve But like you can see, I'm doing this fast. I'm not really caring if I throw it out. I just want to see if there's gold in it. I don't really care if there's like a... I am... All of this is the mercury sands and heavy silicates. Yeah, there's another big piece, man. It's looking like there's a nice little pocket right here. So I think I'm going to try digging this spot out first. See what happens. Because there seems to be quite a bit there. And uh, they are bigger pieces, so that's kind of what I'd rather go for than a bunch of little tiny ones. So, I'm going to set up my gear, use my bucket as a shovel. I'm not even bringing out that sucker anymore. So, uh, I'll go ahead and start the digging. And as far as I know, I'm the only one using this kind of inline wash plant. Uh, basically... That's my screener that goes in this one that has nothing. There's nothing in this sluice. I've just sprayed it with a uh, bed liner. It helps to show the gold. And then on the other one, I put that deck that's in the water right there, the plastic one. The reason I put it in there is because it bubbles up in the heat. And so the screener, gold falls through this one, goes down. And then all the gold-rich material travels through the ribbing. 
with the deck on there, all the rocks and stuff that I pick up in the bucket just tumble down instead of getting in the sluice, knocking the gold out. So, eventually when you guys go through all your little mad scientist sluice making better gold getting ideas, you'll eventually come to this. So, it's up to you. You can run it or not. I'm just telling you, it's a lot faster way to run gold. So, I'm going to set it up and get to digging. Okay, so I ran about a yard. Really close to it. I got this little dial of thing. Looked like a little fire pit, and then I point the stick. That way I know when uh, I've hit so many. I started clogging up. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but that material in there is just clogged with uh, black sand and uh, mercury sands. And I'm trying to bleed some of it out. Probably losing some gold. Um, for those of you that think you're going to just catch every little piece, you're like totally high. It just doesn't work that way. You just got to move a lot of material. I'm not sure how long it was clogged. But I definitely know my flow was a little bit off. So I'm going to let some of this run out as most of the gold's going to be back here on the back end. And I can see a crap load of it. It's like everywhere in there. So... I'm not really worried about what's flowing on the top. Gold is super, super lazy, as you can see. Here's the edge of the stuff flowing out. And the gold is clear back here. So you have all of that. It's that lazy. It's just going to go right to the bottom and sit on the bottom. Yes, I'm going to be blowing some out, but I can just scoop it up. It'll be right there at the end of the sluice and then throw it back in. I just want to get some of this stuff out so I don't have like 18 pans of crap to go through. But you know, when I dump it in the bucket and then start rinsing it off, I'll give you a little look what it looks like. Alright, there ended up being so much material that I had to take my sluice down there. And after I dumped it in a bucket, ran it again. And then after that, I reduced it down to this and then screened it. So, let's find out what I got. You can come with me on this trip. Usually I don't show this. But you can see, like, right away there's a lot of dark material in there. There's barely any. And this pan is super heavy. Just because this is all the dense material. I probably blew a bunch out because it was pretty clogged. I haven't did that in a long time. I just got into a really good patch of heavy stuff in it clogged it up uh, rinse it down rinse it down rinse it down it really helps to stratify and get all that blonde stuff to the top you don't want that it's all granite anyway decomposing granite in fact all this blonde looking stuff that ends up turning into like beach sand comes from a type of granite it breaks down into that usually from the barium inside it breaks it down especially when it's exposed to air water can hold it back a little bit but once it gets in the air that radioactiveness starts really coming dominant I'm stopping not really seeing a lot of blondes left I gotta start being careful because I knew there was quite a bit of gold in there. Unless I dumped it out when I ran it again. There was just way too much to process. It was a full bucket. But if I did, I know where it's at. Let's go run it r real quick. Now if I got a lot of gold, this is usually the time I start seeing it. If not, then it's not very much you never really know that's kind of why I went through and was doing all the uh, spot panning so I didn't dig in a non-fruitful area Let's see if there's any up on the upper surface not seeing any. oh there's a piece right there's a couple so I'm going to put the camera down and kind of focus on what I'm doing. If I start seeing a whole bunch, I'll show you. But if not, I'm just going to pan this out and I'll show you what I got. So there's the gold. 
Uh, I didn't get as much as I'd like to, but they were kind of chunky. It's kind of the problem when you clog up your sluice. With your stupid, I gotta hurry up stuff. But it's not too bad. Stupid soap. Another stupid soap. Just a little bitty bit. Not bad. I'm gonna spot pan and see if I got any left in there. I just may be running out of gold at this here spot. A lot of toxins building up though, man. At least I moved some out and cleaned out some of the water, but it started getting real sandy where I was digging. I'm gonna fill in some of my holes with some rocks and if there wasn't any more gold to show you, you'll probably see an epilogue. So, even though I ran what I normally do in an entire day in my first setting, I wasn't happy with it. So I went over and dug another spot and found that. And that's out of two pans. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 pieces, and a bug. Ha! Huh. So, I got my sluice set up on the opposite side. Way the hell over there. So I'm going to go chip up some dirt, even though I'm going to kill myself doing it, but just not happy with that little bitty-ass piece of gold. And if that stays consistent, which I did like uh, a broader, I chased right there. I'm going to go from there down to there see what I find I don't know it's all over the place in here it's hard to tell where it's gonna hit because sometimes it hits a rock and goes that way and then it'll hit a rock and go back this way there's no real telling where it's going to go so especially when it hits a rock and there's lots of rocks chipping across each other and I'm getting weird I'm gonna be a lot more weirder by the time this is done guarantee it baby all right my golden monkeys Stuck it out uh, and moved another half a yard of dirt in a different location. The water was a lot quicker, so it was able to process easier, and this is what I came up with out of that half a yard. 20 buckets. First one was like 38, 35, almost 40. So I'm definitely over a yard of material today. Lots of, woo, there's a lot of dark stuff in there. I'm really tired. And I still got stuff to do. But I'm sitting here panning up this dirt, trying to entertain you. I don't know if you guys know about it, but Del Boy's Garage, dude's got swag now. That's how he's making sweatshirts. Told him that a long time ago. He's like, nah, mate, that'll never happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you ought to just send me one of those, Dale. I think you should. Don't you guys think you should? And then you and Penny autograph it with a white pen or something. I like black shirts. Where, oh man, I'm seeing gold already. A large. Now, when I'm doing this, rock it back. I rock it back. That way the gold's in the back, not the front when I'm cleaning it out. It should all be back there. I see some. Lots of mercury. Anyway, I'm going to keep shaking this pan around. I want to focus so I don't spill what I hurt my back for. But there's the reduced material out of the... Oh, there's some gold for you to look at. That's it. On the back end, not gonna spill it. That's probably all the gold that's in there. <laughs> we'll find out though. Stick around and stay tuned. Alright, freaks. Tired as hell. There's some gold. That's to all of today's total. Basically, what I got was uh, out of the second run was pretty much equivalent to the first one, just ran less. There's my gold for today, and some seed pods, and some dirt, but all of that is gold. It's not very much. In fact, it's on the verge of pathetic, but there's some gold, man. Get a finger in there.
kind of used to those four finger guys and this is only like a two finger guy but i got some you got to see some vid but i think i'm gonna go home get something to eat man so i appreciate you tuning in and watching hope you enjoyed the episode but for me to you and you to me and back again peace out babies